As we're planning for the sorghum growing season, I think there's three uh, practices we, we need to think about going into the season for sugarcane aphid management. One is row spacing. Now most farmers can't change row spacing much, but if you can, at least consider that, particularly with forward sorghum, because getting good coverage of the insecticide is critical. So a 30 inch row is gonna be much easier to penetrate that canopy than a 15 inch row. So again, especially for forward sorghum, I think I would keep that in mind. The second uh, practice to consider is hybrid selection. You can choose to, to plant a tolerant hybrid, and what the tolerant hybrids do is they buy you time. The sugarcane aphid typically is gonna multiply slower on the tolerant hybrids, or in some cases, uh, uh, which, which in some cases may allow you not to have to spray at all. Uh, and, and if not, at least maybe just spray one time instead of two times. You certainly still want to be checking those tolerant hybrids, but if you have a tolerant <coughs> hybrid planted next to a susceptible hybrid, there's a clear difference in how those sugarcane aphids multiply on those, on those two particular varieties. I think the third option or third uh, consideration is planting date. Uh, if you move the planting date up, what you're essentially trying to do is just outrun the aphid. So if the aphid comes in, it comes in at a later growth stage <clears throat> where the yield reduction won't be as uh, typically as severe. Or in some cases, maybe you, you miss the aphid uh, altogether. The fourth thing to consider is seed treatments. Uh, any of the seed treatments <clears throat> being sold for insect control do a good job of controlling the sugarcane aphid for about 40 days. That's particularly important if you're planting late, because if you're late planting, there's a more likelihood of the sugarcane aphid coming in and infesting that sorghum at an earlier growth stage. So that 40 days can be very valuable.